When I was growing up, my mom always told me to clean my room. And I knew that my room needed cleaning. I just didn't want to do it. Yet she continued to ask me over and over, did you clean your room yet? But you see, as a 15 year old girl, I had just started to learn how to outsmart my mom. So what I would do is this. I would immediately respond with something like, oh mom, you forgot to switch the laundry. To which she would jolt up and say, oh yeah, running to the laundry room. She never caught on to my trick and I always wondered why she didn't catch on. I mean, it was obvious what I was doing, right? But when I became a mom myself, that's when I finally understood. It wasn't that my mom didn't know what I was doing. It was that she was too overwhelmed, cooking dinner, cleaning the house, taking care of three very stubborn teenagers and all the friends we constantly brought over. And she didn't have the time to fight with me when she worked full time and it was hard enough to keep up as is. Sometimes we find ourselves in these seasons of life where everything around us just keeps moving, 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 yet we feel paralyzed. Like we just can't do it anymore. I don't have the energy to make my daughter clean her room. Sometimes it just seems impossible. But why? Why does it feel this way? Maybe it's because we don't know where to start. There's just too much to do and we kind of give up. What's the point of even trying when I always end up right here, behind and overwhelmed? Is this you right now? Do you feel like your butt is literally glued to the couch while chaos surrounds you? Then I just want you to do this. I call it the tidy tango and all you need to get started is a timer. So if you're gonna do it with me, then go get a timer. Otherwise, you can just listen. And I'm gonna tell you how you can do your first tidy tango, which will drag you right out of your slump and get your home to a place where you feel like you can breathe again. It's not gonna be perfect, okay? We're not deep cleaning our oven. We're not tackling the mountain of paper on our desk. But all I need you to do is give me an hour and you're gonna feel better. I know that seems like a lot of time, but according to the American Cleaning Institute, we spend on average six hours a week cleaning. I just need one. One hour, six tasks, 10 minutes per task. If you wanna do this with me, then pause the video after I explain each task, set your timer and do it. Otherwise, no worries. I made you a free printable of it, so you can just listen now, print that off, and do it the next time you feel like you're stuck in a rut, okay? All right, so for the very first task of the Tidy Tango, I want you to set your timer for five minutes, put on your favorite song, and dance. Wait, 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 wait. Don't go away. Okay, I know you're looking for another video, but hear me out. We're gonna get to the other tasks, but this will only work if you start it with a dance. Get yourself out of that slump. Put on the cha-cha slide for all I care. Just get up and start dancing. This is gonna force your body to wake up. Wake up, body. I'm not gonna allow you to have this power over me anymore. Wake up and dance those slumps away, okay? Cha-cha to the left, the other left, cha-cha to the right. But if you're not a dancer, then just put on some karaoke and sing your favorite song. I just want you to get your body energized and ready, okay? That is the first task of the Tidy Tango. One task down, five to go, and you're done. Task number two, set your timer for 10 minutes and wash the dishes. Wash as many dishes as you can in this time span and just go as fast as you can. How many dishes can you get cleaned in 10 minutes? I think you can wash a lot more than you realize. And if you have a dishwasher, then just empty and fill it. But otherwise, don't stop washing until that timer dings. And when that timer is up, you're done. Even if there are still dishes in the sink, just stop and move on to the next task in our tidy tango, which is to tidy up for 10 minutes. Go around the main living areas, pick up all the toys, pick up the random things lying around your tabletop, clear the kitchen counters, tidy, tidy, tidy as fast as you can in 10 minutes. And remember, you only have 10 minutes, which is gonna motivate you to move quickly. 
Don't even waste a second of your limited time that I'm giving you to tidy. Why does this work? Because it naturally puts you in hustle. You know that your time is ticking and you only have so long, so what do you do? You move fast and you get more done than you even imagined you could. And the fourth task in the tidy tango is to clean the bathrooms for 10 minutes. Start with the bathroom that the guests use. We may not get to the second bathroom, that's okay. Just focus on the one that company uses. That's our main priority. So that when somebody shows up at your door needing to use the bathroom, you don't have to tell them that the toilets are broken. Because my friends in the neighborhood are starting to get a little suspicious. So clean the toilets, clear the products off the sink, wipe down the sinks, clean your mirrors, and if you find that you still have time left over, then run up to the second bathroom and clean there too. You only have 10 minutes to get as much done as you can. You might as well make the most of it. And the fifth task in our tidy tango is to sweep and vacuum the floors in your main traffic areas. Get all that pet hair, get all the Cheerios under the table, vacuum up the litter that has escaped the cat box, and just get it done. Because after this task, you only have one more and you're gonna feel so much better. Your home, which previously fell out of control, is gonna bring you some peace very soon. And now, the last task in the Tidy Tango is to mop the floors. This may be the most tiring of the tasks, but let me tell you, it's gonna make your home feel the best. There is nothing like a floor that shines back at you with the smell of pine sol through the air or my personal favorite, Fabuloso. This is what will take your tidy tango home. And after all this, you're gonna feel good. Your brain is gonna release endorphins, dopamine, all those feel good hormones, and your house is gonna be cleaner. And all you did was spend an hour of your time. Can you give me an hour? That's it. One hour, five cleaning tasks. And then after, you can eat a bowl of ice cream the size of your head as a reward. I give you permission. I have a free printable for you as well of your Tidy Tango checklist. So go ahead, find it in the description of this video, print it out, put it in a sheet protector, grab a dry erase marker, and use it as many times as you need. And speaking of checklists, if you're somebody who enjoys cleaning checklists, then click here to see that time I tried the Motivated Mom's Cleaning Routine, because this routine is full of easy to use checklists. I'll see you there.